Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lab here. Hey, listen, this video's for my, um, you know, my new subscribers and the young guys, um, the guys that are, you know, coming up in the HVAC community and uh, that are learning in school. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to do a little quick little video on uh, a couple of things. And, you know, there was somebody that did a video, uh, you know, on YouTube and uh, he's been around like forever and this guy, um, you know, did a video on, you know, venting. He, he, he come across a unit that was overcharged. I'm not going to mention any names. But, you know, he dumped, he's, he, on the video he said he dumped five pounds of refrigerant into the atmosphere. And, uh, you know, he didn't want to take his recovery tank out and to reclaim the refrigerant. Well, I'm going to explain to you, you young puppies, you know, how to reclaim refrigerant out of a working system. You don't have to dump it into the atmosphere. That's a $25,000 fine if you get caught. You don't be stuck on stupid, you know. All you got to do is hook up your gauges, you know, your low and high side to the system, okay. You start the system up. You turn the thermostat down so it's running. Now you got a low side and you got a high side. Now when your high side's running, you're gonna have high pressure because the, 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 the compressor's running. Okay? So you got your red holes hooked up to the high side. Now you got a recovery tank. Now the recovery tank's gonna be the pressure. If it's 80 degrees out, get your PT chart, your temperature is gonna be whatever 80 degrees is. It's gonna be a lot lower than the high side of the running system. So all you have to do. Is you got your your blue and your red holes is hooked up to your your compressor, your condensing unit, and you you know hook your yellow holes up to the recovery tank. I don't give the shit if the recovery tank's full of refrigerant. Don't matter. You open up your high side, okay, and you open up your yellow holes in the tank, and you dump the refrigerant into the recovery tank. That's how you do it. You don't dump it into the fucking atmosphere, and, and you know uh, that's that's a big ass fine. You don't do that. You reclaim everything that you get. 410A, 134A, 22, you reclaim all your refrigerant. Period. You don't dump shit into the atmosphere. Okay? And when you're done with your gauges, if there's, you know, refrigerant in your gauges, well, that's that's different. That's the, the minimus, um, you know, refrigerant. You can't help that. But I just wanted to do this video f for my for my young viewers. You know, if you don't know how to reclaim refrigerant, or I don't know if your system's overcharged and you're gonna take refrigerant out, you don't fucking dump it in the air. You you, re you put it into the tank, okay? And you take your tank and you have it to the reclaimer, and you you know, don't be don't be stuck on fucking stupid and get hit with a twenty five thousand dollar fine. You don't dump refrigerant into the air. Period. No, you don't do it. You don't dump refrigerant into the air. It's not, it's not, you know, it's not something you, you know, if you're watching my video, guy, you know, come on. What the fuck? You're going to dump fucking five pounds of refrigerant into the air on the internet and tell everybody? That's, that, come on. Get your fucking head out of your ass. That's, that's no way to be. Dump five pounds of refrigerant. You're supposed to be a big fucking technician and everything? Come on, man. Ridiculous. But anyway, I'm doing this video for, for the young guys and the guys that, you know, you know, and maybe for the fucking super techs out there that don't know how to fucking reclaim refrigerant out of a working system, you know. Maybe, you know, maybe you've been doing it for fucking 30 years and you, you don't fucking know. So I explained it to you, okay. Uh, very easy. You run the fucking eight, you run the condensing unit, you got a high pressure on the high side. That high pressure is going to overcome you know, the low pressure in the recovery tank. And you push the refrigerant from the high side into the recovery tank. You don't vent it. You know, excuse my language if I got, uh, you know, a little carried away and, and all that. But, you know, I don't know. That's like fucking basic of basic, you know. It's like, you know, flossing your teeth. You floss your teeth, you know. You know that when you're fucking, you know, six months old or a year old, you got to floss your teeth. You know, if you're fucking 80, you know how to floss your teeth. Well, go back to fucking school and, you know, learn the fucking basics. Whatever. I don't hopefully I didn't piss on anybody's parade. Uh, you know, I know a lot of guys have been, you know, upset about it. And, you know, and it's like, 
fucking ridiculous. You know, we all make we all make videos and we make mistakes. Every day's a school day, I would say. Uh, I'm not trying to, you know, stir up any trouble or start any, you know, start any shit with anybody, but, you know, you can't fucking be telling people to dump fucking five pounds of refrigerator into the atmosphere. This young guy's watching the videos, you know? You can't do that. You can't, you can't do that, guy. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I wanted to bring the video, so if any of you guys are, you know, fucking clueless, and you don't know how to do it, there you go. I just told you how to do it. You don't have to, you know, vent, you know. Now, if you come off a mi uh, come across a mini split, you know, you got the low side there. You got just the low side. You have to get your recovery chip, recovery machine out to recover, you know, refrigerant out of a mini split. Because you only got a low side. You'll see both lines going up are covered. Unless there's a tapping... You know, if you can open up the cabinet and get to the high side of the system, um, a mini splits both, you know, both, li both lines are low side. So you can't do that on a mini split, you you know, uh, unless you unless it's a tapping, you know, inside somewhere on a compressor where you can uh, tap into the high side. A mini split's different, you know, and a mini split, uh, you know, there's, there's a little bit involved with mini splits. You know, you have to put it in by weight and all that stuff uh, on a mini split. But anyway, like I said, I am, I'm not trying. I'm just doing this for my, my young viewers that watch my stuff. And I'm explaining to my viewers, you know, I don't give a fuck what anybody else does on their station. And, uh, you know, whatever they do, I'm concerned about my viewers. I'm just trying to educate my viewers because my viewers watch my stuff, okay, and I'm responsible for them. Um, do I screw up? Yeah, I screw up. I screw up all the time. I probably fuck up more than any of you guys put all of you guys put together, but I'll admit it, you know. But um, you know, I do the best I can to bring bring across what I think you guys should know. Am I gonna be right all the time? Fuck no, I'm not gonna be right all the time. But I'm going to, you know, if I see a problem and, um, you know, something that's that was said, I'll try, you know, I'll do my best to tell my viewers what I think they should do. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe I'm 100% wrong or, you know, maybe I'm fucking clueless. You know, it won't be the first time that I made a mistake. You know, I make mistakes, you know, all the time. But, you know... Every time I every time I stumble and fall, I get back up. And uh, you know, it's not how many times you fall that matters; how many times you get up and try again. That's what fucking matters. Get up and try again. That's what really matters. It doesn't matter. You know, you can fall 50, 50 times, but if you get up fifty one times, you're more of a you're more of a man than the guy that laid down and said, "I'm done." You know, get back up and try again. But anyway. <laughs> Just a loose bully in action. Fucking nut. Crazy bastard. You know, speaking my mind. Maybe I just should shut up. I, I Maybe sometimes I'm stuck on stupid doing these fucking videos. I, I think sometimes. You know? I just should, you know, just... <laughs> anyway, guys. I want to thank my loyal subscribers. And, you know, I've been getting a lot of subscribers. You know, every day I get a, a bunch of subscribers. I don't know, 12, 15 subscribers every day I've been getting, you know. So I appreciate all the new guys. And, you know, I expect the new guys, you know, leave comments and, uh, you know, get involved with the station. Get involved with, you know, what's going on and, and uh, you know, leave comments. And I'll, I'll respond, I respond to every comment that's left. You know, if you're going to be an asshole and you're going to leave all kinds of, you know, nasty comments and try to get a rise out of me, I'm just going to fucking block your fucking sorry ass and you're going to be out of here. So if you're a legitimate person and, you know, and you want to comment and you want to back and forth, you know, I like to get to know my subscribers. You know, if you're a fucking troll and you're coming through, I don't want trolls. I want legitimate subscribers. And uh, I rather have less subscribers, but you know, good guys that comment on my stuff all the time. You know, if you fall into that category, and you're not a fucking loser, piece of shit, um, troll. Well, leave a comment. You know, if you're a fucking piece of troll, 
If you're a piece of shit, uh, troll, uh, nasty, leave a nasty comments. Don't leave, don't leave it because I just block your fucking ass anyway. I don't, you know, you're like a piece of toilet paper. I just wipe my ass and fucking flush you. You're fucking gone. You know, a flush. It's like the toilet. Whoosh. Fucking gone. Come back. I'll wipe my ass with you again. You're gone again. <laughs> but anyway, for my, for my, you know, 99% of the people that come to my station, they're all, you know, decent people. And uh, I look forward to getting to know you. And, you know, I'm not a real jerk. I'm not an asshole. I really ain't, you know. I'd be the first guy, you know, to give you my hat if you needed it or, you know, if you needed, you know, money for food. I'd be the first guy to, to help you out and, you know, try to, you know, give you at least a chance. You know, I, I'll, I'll give you some money to get you going, you know, for the first month. But if you're just, you know, going to keep stuck, if you're going to be fucking stuck on stupid and you can't, you know, get a job after six months. I ain't going to be fucking helping you out after six months. Get out there and fucking, you know, go collect some fucking cans and, and you know, do it on your own. But I'll be the first guy to give you, you know, the, you know, the hat off my head or the shirt off my back. It, you know, if you legitimately need something and, you know, I'd be the first guy to help you. And anybody that knows me would tell, you know, that's the way I am. But, you know, I'm not going to help out some piece of shit. That's just trying to, you know, you know, like a fucking leech. He wants to grab on you and suck all your blood out of you just because see how much he can get out of you and then move on to the next guy. Bullshit. No way. You know? But anyway, that's here or there. Um, thank my little subscribers. I want my, you know, my little subscribers to comment on my stuff. I'll get to know you back and forth and we can, you know, build a relationship through the comments. And, uh, you know, hopefully that, that's what happens. Um, and I got a bunch of guys that, you know, come to my station every day and comment. And I, I feel that, you know, I got a decent relationship with them, uh, you know. And my station's all about the subscribers and the comment. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't even do this. Why, why do it? Why do this if I didn't have, uh, you know, interaction with the subscribers? Because, you know, there would be no reward, you know. There would be no reward. And I spent hours and hours a day doing these these videos and editing them. You don't think that's a lot of work? Um, doing all the videos I do and editing them all? You know, every video that you see me pop up, figure two, three hours of editing per video. Per video. At least two hours. So, you know, figure, you know, if I put up one video a day, two hours of it is just editing. You want to do it? Well, let's fucking rock and roll, buddy. Bring it, bring it along. Let's see, let's see you do it. Let's see your videos. Rock and roll it. You know, it's not easy. You gotta really, you gotta really. Uh, it's gotta be um, something you want to do. And uh, you know, unless your videos are just you know all shaking and this and that, and you know, no editing. Well, whatever. It is what it is. That's the truth. But anyway. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have a good day and thanks for watching.